Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, and today we're looking at a very important trick in scooting, and that's a manual. Now, now this trick back in the day was all I did. Literally cruising to the deli with the boys, getting some snacks type shit, I'd literally down the street be doing this thing. Of course, back in the day, I literally didn't know how to do this properly, and I'd be doing it one-footed. And the reason I did it one-footed is because back in the day, it was easier for me to keep my balance with only one foot on. That way I could use my other foot to help me balance as I lose control of it falling too far back, or falling too far forward, and I literally would just fall the scooter. And so what that would look like was essentially me going like this. I'd be going down the street doing this, like, yo, look, guys, look, 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 three seconds, wasn't that great? And of course we'd hold records and all that, you know, I, I got a pretty long ones back in the day with one foot, okay? But, I'm here to tell you that one foot is literally the wrong way. It's okay to start at, okay? Because I did that back in the day. That's how I understood how to manual and how to actually keep my balance. And if I was losing it, how to retain it, and same thing. And the reason I did one foot of manual is if I was falling too forward too much, I'd literally start getting that foot all the way back. If I was falling too backwards, I would literally put that foot forward to try to balance myself out. But the key with manuals, I've learned this over the years. I've literally gotten so much better at them over the years. And the key to it is to literally with your arms, lock them. You want to get in your certain position and you want to lock your arm. And once your arm's locked, that's going to be your base for your manual. Once you start losing it, as in you're falling too backward or losing it, you're falling too forward, that's where your arms are going to be completely sturdy and your knees are going to come in. And this is where you're going to actually fluctuate in how you're bending. And you've probably seen some wonky manuals out there where people are saving them, literally going like this. And since their arms are so stiff, it gives them a good base for a manual to be able to control it, whether they're losing it or keeping it, and then going from there. And so with a manual, what's going to help is actually knowing your scooter. So if you're, if you're like a guy who's getting new parts all the time, you don't know what the hell you're riding, it might be a little weird. Because if you know your scooter that you're on, you're going to know the balance point super well. Like this scooter I've been riding, I've been riding this for so long, and I know the balance point very well. I know that it's gonna be literally right around here. If I have my arms straight, it's gonna be right around here. And from there, every time I jump into a manual, since I know this scooter, I immediately know right where to land. It's, it's not even a question for me. So the second I get into a manual, boom, my arms are ready, my feet are ready to bend, and I can literally sit here and just control that manual. The key is pretty much with your arms and your knees. And the knees are the ones that are gonna be doing most of the work bending and trying to fluctuate for when you're falling or what. And of course, there's other variables that go into this, like for instance, your deck size. So if you have a 20 inch long deck, your Manny balance, it's probably gonna honestly feel pretty short and you're probably gonna be able to loop out super fast all the time. But if you have a 23, you're gonna be able to literally sometimes even save it off of saves that can't be done because you have such a longer platform to keep your weight and everything kind of like in control. So with a longer deck like 23, you're gonna have a lot more control of Manny's and with a 20, you're probably not. It can be done on both sizes and perfected on both. It's just up to the rider, don't worry. And so the thing about bar height is if you're gonna have your bars up to your chest, you're probably gonna have an easier time keeping control of that Manny. Now, there are kids out there who of course have the Manny control of absolute gods and they're riding up to here. It's literally personal preference for everybody and everybody rides different and people can perfect things that I can't. All right, so now I'm gonna do a couple right here flat. And as you can see, I'm sitting here in my arms the entire time, I'm completely still, and I'm using my knees to bend every single time. I'm just sitting here, maybe it gets too wonky, whoa, whoa, whoa sit, maybe we don't, I don't know. Look at that save, and that is exactly how you want to keep a manic, because you want to keep the actual arms so stiff that you can save it using your knees. That was a pretty good example right there, let's see if we get even wonkier. seeing is like when I'm going crazy like that that's literally me the entire time seeing how I'm gonna either fall back or go far forward and I'm sitting there and adapting to what my knees are doing and to how my balance is going and the last thing I got to say in this video many people might be disappointed for me to say this if you use your brake on a manual it is wrong that is the wrong way to do it I'm sorry it counts I count it I think it's still okay and acceptable but it is wrong. A true manual trick is where you're actually not using your brake, not slowing down. It's a true balance of urethane to wheels without you trying to cheat or use any sort of advantage. I mean, people still use their brake and they have so many good clips with it and I still count them, they're amazing. But again, it's wrong. But that's why you don't see me doing any of those great things. But yeah, make sure to drop a like on the video, guys. Comment down below what you want me to do. Next trick to Toilet Tuesday, because we got a lot of tricks to do, I can tell you that right now. And I'm just gonna hold this manual, hopefully, and uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, because you wanna do that, don't miss a single video on the channel, and then, um, uh, I don't know, my, ah! All right, well guys, that's gonna be the end of the tutorial. Of course, check out the playlist below of the Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. I have so many other trick tutorials up on the channel, and I got a lot more to do. And yeah, until next time.